Whoa, that light is bright. I'm in a church because I'm gonna record a music video. I won't show the cross or the church so much, but I will use this grand piano as my main furniture on the video. Can I say that? Uh, it's a song I just written. More about that song in another video. But let me show you now how I set up so I can record a music video if you're interested. Let's do it. I need to change lens on this one, the big guy. So now my gear is up. Uh, I don't have so much gear. I have two cameras. One big camera, the Sony a7 IV with a wide-angle lens. And then I have the camera that I'm recording this on. That's the Sony ZV-E10, if you're interested in cameras at all. And then I have a couple of lights. I have one more. I haven't brought that out yet. Let's see if I need it, maybe as a backlight. I'm going to do close-up recording. I'm going to be close to my face. I want this small camera to be above my shoulder pointing down towards the keys and the bigger pointing at my face. At first, then I will change angles and I will probably change angles four or five times. And to have something to play to, play along with, I brought this. This is a Bluetooth speaker, rather cheap Bluetooth speaker. And I will play the music from my phone so I can have something to play along with and be able to sync the video clips later on. Now let's do a setup that looks good and I will come back to you. That could work as a start. Let's see how it looks. Well, a video about filming on a channel about music, well, they are connected in this case. I think. So I hope you will find it interesting and will excuse my filming things, filming tips and tricks in this video. But we are making a music video and I want to show you that you can do it easily if you just have a couple of cameras or phones. You can do it with phones or a GoPro. It doesn't have to be expensive equipment. Remember though that the lighting is the most important thing when you're filming. And therefore I decided I need one more light because I need some backlight on me as well. I think I'm set up now. Uh, I have uh, this camera pointed over my left shoulder down towards the keys and another camera pointed at me there. I have a couple of lights and a backlight back there. And uh, so I will start uh, my first recording and someone is mess <laughs> someone sends me a lot of message at the same time. I hope they stop. Um, yeah, I will try. Here we are, there you are. Uh, one take down, I'm gonna do several more takes. This take I think I'm only gonna do with the piano, my fingers on the piano, so I will try to point my cameras towards my fingers more. Uh, I don't know how to do it and I don't know how the lighting should be, but I, I will try to figure it out. I think that's okay, uh, but I need the smaller light to be here because that one is gonna be shadows, shadows from the camera on the keys. So I need to, yeah, I will move the smaller lights.
Okay, the next take is going to be just on my, my upper body, uh, above the grand piano. Uh, I have that, this camera here and another camera at the side. Uh, trying to achieve that, <clears throat> so I'm going to mime, I'm going to sing. Because that is also important. If you mime, uh, it doesn't look like you're breathing correctly or something. So you have to sing along with the music you, you're going to perform. It has to look like a performance, right? At least in my opinion. Yeah, I will try this. So, uh, and now what? Any ideas? Well, I've done three clips so far. Uh, so that means six video clips, because I have two cameras. Three times two is six. I'm gonna do two more. I'm gonna place cameras very close to my face one time. So I only have my face in the picture, so to speak. One in front and one from the side. And then I'm gonna place the cameras further away. And how the lighting should be then, I don't know. That I have to fix. But first, close up. Okay. Uh, that's okay. Uh, and this camera that you are watching now, I will put straight in front of me. Straight in front. are not the only clips I want whoop, clips I want for this video I want clips of other people as well but I'm gonna do two more a uh, one more take but with two cameras where the grand piano and me are more in the background so you can see the whole scenery I don't want the cross you see in the background to be visible because this has nothing to do with, with religion well it, a little bit actually because this song is about freedom it's about human rights and the right to choose. I wrote this together with my friend Frederick, and we are so affected about, of, about things that are happening in the world right now, especially in Iran, where people are fighting against the dictatorship of the country for their right to choose. And the regime in Iran is using brutal force against the people I was chatting with a friend from Iran the other day, though they don't have internet right now. He found a VPN that worked so he can chat with me and he said, be our voice, please. It can't be more clear, clear than that, can it? And that's what I'm trying to do. Because I believe that music can be a powerful voice. I will do a video about this song in a couple of weeks. Please subscribe so you don't miss that because I have things I want to ask of you. Right now, I'm going to end this video by shooting this uh, scenery video. I hope you had fun watching a video about video and not about music directly, but sort of. Do you know what we call light source in Swedish? Lampa. Lampa. Until next time, Roger that.